Hello everybody, how are you doing? Okay, welcome to Battersea Park. And I finally come to the date of my track 10,000 metre race up here on the track here at Battersea. So yeah, I'm rather nervous. I'm not quite sure how I'm feeling. I'm feeling a bit heavy legged, but maybe that's just nerves. I'm in the second of the three ones. I think I should be in a fairly good pace race for me. I think the second race, I think the fastest guy is about 37.30. And uh, my friend Gina from Hercules Wimbledon, she's aiming for about 38 minutes. So I'll see if I can hold on to her for as long as I can. I, I thought myself about 92, but let's see if that's a bit ambitious later on. Okay, warm up done. So I'm feeling absolutely great, but uh, good as to go. Did 1.8 miles, a bit longer than warm up than always actually. But I thought I'd like to get a nice steady one in, just under eight minute miling in the Pegasus Turbo Next Natures. Just finishing the first race, so I'll be off in about 10 minutes, I think. So I'll put my spikes on, do a few strides, and I'm off we go.
Just under 40. No way, I was doing 92s, 95s. And went down to 97, a good last lap, so just go 40, but oh, gonna try much harder. Yeah. So I think it was about 39.55, something like that. I'll put the exact time up there. I think it was one of those races where I was kind of hoping to be better, but when I actually got going, I realised that 92 second laps were way too ambitious and I instantly, almost after one lap, recalibrated to 95s. I actually did that fairly well, actually. And I think in the end, when I realised that that was going to bring me home close to 40 minutes, suddenly sub 40 became the target and I went through halfway, not too much under 20 minutes. So I knew that I had to keep it going. And it's kind of law, law, it's kind of a war of attrition in a track 10 There's a lot going through your head. You keep getting the splits. You still keep mentally calculating what that's going to bring you. You keep sort of thinking, is that person in front of you coming away from me, getting better? And there was four people that went off, including Gina, who won it in the end. And I think she was aiming for about sub 38. I think she quite did it. I think she just got me on the line. I think it's the first time she's beaten me. So well done to her. It's great running. We used to work together for a while, actually. It was just, uh, uh, some years ago back at Logica Days or CGI that, that we became. So yeah, one of those sort of runs that I came away thinking well, so much better with a 39 on the front than a 40, but thinking that I should have done better. But on the day, I think I did about as well as I could because if I look back at my lap splits, I put them up there, you think they were pretty solid. And I think it would be very hard to see how I could run that much faster. Maybe I should need to take a few more rest days. Because I did that hard session on Saturday and I did sort of easy running between uh, each day then, I should, perhaps I should have had a rest day. I think I came into that just feeling a bit jaded, but yeah, I have to chat to Matt about what sort of training we can do. I think it's sort of like definitely a lot better. I mean, consider I did the Umbridge 10K in July, it was, what was that, 41 minutes, something like that. That was pretty awful. So back to where I was, I think, in the winter, but just sort of can't work out how I did that at 37 in January. But at least the upward trend is the upward uh, direction anyway, which is the thing about running. I think, of course, as the months go by, as you get older, just seems to become harder and harder. The Dragonflies did well in that race. Didn't really feel any problems there at all. And people still ask me, what shoes would I have worn if it weren't for Dragonflies? So it's a really good question. Not sure what, what I would use. I mean, obviously I would have wear an X percent if they're allowed, but I don't think anyone's checking, but it's the kind of feel that's the rules and I don't think I really lost anything there I've done a track 5000 in Vaporlice before and it wasn't that great anyway so I hope you found this interesting perhaps an example of how you can make a sort of a race that's slightly disappointing come away feeling positive it's a bit like that with golf someone says to me if you have a good round of golf think of five shots that you played well and you better think of five shots you played it well in a round of 90 or even 100 so a bit like that with running come away with positives broke 40 did the club 55 record admittedly no one else has done it but set a target for chris ness and jamie and that when those guys make it to my age if they ever do well runners anyway because you never know guarantees with running when you get older and older and older pick up an injury and it's so hard to get back but so I'm just grateful to be continuing running, really. Anyway, so I hope you enjoyed this one. Look forward to the next, seeing the next one. Like and subscribe on that, and bye. Well done, Gina. Well done. Excellent photo. <coughs> well done. Good running. So did you win? You did. Oh, well PB? No. Uh, 92 is really ambitious for me. So it was 95. Just broke 40, though, so. Just broke 40, and that was hard enough. Yeah. <laughs> Needed a like, good last lap. I wanted, to, I wanted to get in under 38 to be honest, but I think we could have. We could have if we had gone for it a bit earlier. We were selfish. Yeah. 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 We took the uh, benefit of someone else's draft too long. Neither of us. In the end, he told yeah. us to go ahead, didn't he, really? Yeah. He, just said he, he said, tired. I'm slowing, and I <laughs> yeah. thought, okay, right. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I don't know so hard for ages. I have to say, I was comfortable. Like, from, you know, quite a lot I was okay, yeah. I think the price I should have turned off my lap splits. I heard keep hitting 95, 95, 95. Then when I heard 96, the head started to go a bit, you know. Yeah. Then I was a 97, and I needed a self. I think I needed a 95 on the last lap to break six, break 40. So I thought I'm sure I'm going to get that. Was that you overtook me right on the line? Uh, no, I think I might have been there. Yeah, it would have been. Yeah. 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 On the final lap, like the right, and right at the death, yeah. 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 I thought that was after a while, I was thinking, oh, the 100 ahead, 200 ahead, this is going to be really close. <laughs> yeah, I thought you were going to get me, because I'm always got on the... Uh... Well, he went away from me. I held, I held the gap on about the last 100. He didn't, uh, didn't go much further, I don't think, anyway.
They put a bit of a bird on. Yeah, that's a bomb this. Well done, Gina. Thanks. Great, Andy. And the shorts Say hello to the camera if you are. Sorry. Hello, I'm Peter. Hi, Peter. Hi. How did you go on today? Uh, not as well as I could have done. Did you beat me? No. No. Oh, okay. I tried hard. So you didn't break 40 then, probably, unless uh, you were right behind just me. Under, just under 40, I think. Oh, were you really? She's right behind me? Uh, it's a couple of minutes. Um, somewhere, somewhere around there. Because I was like 39.55, 30, something like that. Too tired, too tired to work out where I was. Too, too busy counting laps. Well, I've done, I've done three 5,000s in Dragonfly. So they can either get to 5,000 and then push on and then get to 5,000 and of course slow down. Isn't it? Yeah, yeah. So if you weren't going to wear those, what would you have worn? Well, I don't, as far as I haven't really got anything illegal. I mean, Adios, even Adios 6 and 7 aren't legal. I mean, I think, to six, be honest. 6 is might be. Uh, yeah, but, but I think 800 and above. I think he's fine, to be honest with you. I'm trapped. Yeah, I mean, it's a bit of salvation because I, I, I mean, I couldn't even do. I did 800 in flats about four years ago before they bought the shoes in. And then. We're in vapor flies in an 800 500 is a bit too much. It's, you feel like a bit wobbly around the bends. But uh, I did a 5k in them here actually when it was a baking hot day, and then okay, it's three years ago, I'm getting I'm, older. I'm but it wasn't, I ran okay. much faster on the road, even better, even though it wasn't a great day, and I thought I could run better on the road. But you just didn't feel good, did you? Know? This was much slower than my, my A610k in the winter run. Much, much slower. slower. You said he went, you know, and not, not feeling great, but I didn't imagine it'd be that much slower. I think it's really Massive psychological slower. tough, isn't it? Because um, four got away, and I think, well, they're going a bit too quick, I better let them go. I know Gina's going for sub 38, and then realistically, I knew I wasn't in that shape, so I thought I need to hang back a bit. And I said, I said to myself, I'll do 92s, and then I did the first lap in 95 thinking, oh, okay, right, revisit that, I'll do 95. <laughs> and I did that to about 15, 16, and a couple slower, then I knew that I could put out a last lap to break 40, but then when I looked at the clock, it was like 19.50 or halfway or something, you know, I think, oh, it's not much, not much leeway, is there? This guy. How did you go? You were second. Second. Like, couldn't she run away from me in the yeah. last 300? You, you've got great guns if you ever took her. I think the first time Gina's beaten me, actually, because she's she keeps trying to break five minutes in the 1500. I can't remind you that. It's too, too strong. There's another 5 It's really, really strong going fast. Yeah, no worries. Are you still yeah. filming? Yeah. And the old yeah. no, I'll stop it. <laughs> I'll stop it. Oh, what, is it YouTube? Yeah. Go on. So you, you are, sorry. My name's Terry Lappins. I'm 36 and I run for Croydon Harriers. Oh, well done. So you did the 10K tonight in? In sub 45, 44, 56. And and you're, you're training out for the London Marathon. I am, yeah, yeah. yeah. It'll be my ninth London Marathon since 2006. How many marathons have you done all together? Nine. Oh, yeah, all I've all only London, done London. Oh, okay, so yeah, I will yeah. travel the world and do other ones. You do some other ones, yeah. But yeah. I'm looking forward to it. So the training's yeah. gone okay. This was just a little test yeah. tonight, just to see. I felt stronger in the second half than I did the first half. Yeah. Problem is, I was in no man's land for yeah. the majority since about lap two. But I got out there and I've done it. That's and the only thing. Yeah, we flew the flag finish. for the veterans. You'll be in. Uh, yeah, I do power of ten as well, so you'll be on there. Oh, I love power of ten. Yeah. And right. Nice. Well done, man. Take care. Guys.